Yeah, it's your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of My Two Satoshis. It is February 28th, 2018. Hope you guys are doing well this morning. I want to give a shout out to Cincinnati Jack. He wanted me to play some Eric Sermon Hidden Switches. This is an old school joint right here. So, hope you guys can rock out to that and enjoy that. Eric Sermon, man, I remember a lot of Eric Sermon tracks. Classic there, people. Again, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing well today. And uh, today we're just going to talk about first SegWit adoption percentages are up on the network. I told you I had my predictions. We'll take a look at what uh, where we're sitting at now that Coinbase has uh, pretty much um, online all of the wallets with SegWit uh, integration or protocol upgrades. So. We'll take a look at that. Take a look at some TA. We hit a. <laughs> it's like, man, you'll you'll have to see it to believe it, people. My uh, my chart will show where we hit a some resistance, and it's right at a line that I drew either yesterday or the day before. So we'll take a look at that, and also I have an article for us to go over. But first, I want you guys to get over to CryptoBlood.io and get you some of those teas i told you guys before and uh i think about a week and a half ago or so that we will be discontinuing because i'm not doing any more orders for the micro crypto blood teas right here they come in a couple different uh colors the hoodies will still be here but the teas are are whatever we got left is what's that's it no more so Make sure you guys grab one of those or any of the other teas that we have on CryptoBlood.io. So get over there. I only accept crypto. You better believe it. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that market cap, though. We're sitting at $447 billion. Bitcoin's dominance is at 39.8%. And red today across the board, though percentage-wise not too too bad i think a lot of the uh erc20 tokens we're seeing a lot of um selling pressure it seems like because in my opinion my theory about it is that um since ether delta kind of went down you know a lot of volume has to be shifted to your fork deltas and all the other decentralized exchanges so i think it's just a lack of liquidity until people start ramping up on fork delta um i think we're not seeing true prices for a lot of these erc20 tokens that you can only pretty much buy and sell on uh, an, an ed or now we have a uh, fork delta so i think once people get acclimated with fork delta i think we'll start to see a volume start to get you know back to where they were um prior to all the ed issues when i say ed i mean ether delta people so uh they i know mike b just did an interview with them i'm not sure if it's the same guys that founded and and uh and and wrote ether deltas github um but Fork Delta is official, people, so go ahead and start using that and uh, jump over to Mike B's channel if you want to see an uh, interview with the uh, co-founders. Uh, I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I plan on doing that soon. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that TA. TA standing for Technical Analysis, if any of you don't know. <laughs> So uh, as you can see here, I, I drew this dotted line a few days ago, right around um, 1, uh, 11,000 marker for Bitcoin. And this is based off of the Bitstamp exchange. We stayed above this dotted line, but man, we, we tried to make a run for it. And what happened? I told you we needed to get above this area here. Did not happen, people. So we got smacked down. The, the Bears took back over. They won that battle there. Uh, but the war is not over. Um, I'm believing that we'll get back above this trending line here. And make another attempt for this line here. So again, 
as a mental marker you don't have to sit and watch the you know charts all day every day just put in your head you need to see prices above 11,000 for you to know that we're continuing on with this bull run so just keep 11,000 in the back of your mind and you'll be straight let's go ahead and um, take a look at this segwit uh, adoption as well I really wanted to take a look at that I think this is interesting I told you guys that I thought after coinbase fully implemented segwit that we would be around 25 to 30 uh, to 30 percent and guess what we are at 30 percent 30 point four percent to be exact so that looks like that fills the gap between um, coin non adoption of coinbase or segwit versus coinbase adoption of segwit this is the the gap here about a doubling in segwit adoption what does that mean we got a long way to go we got a long way to go to to really get um segwit adoption it's going to take more than the biggest exchange and uh i should call them broker exchange gdex is an exchange is an exchange but it's, it's going to take more than the biggest one in the united states for segwit to be successful um, they got a long way and we'll have to see what happens with that but on to the actual article for today comes out of bitcoin.com and it's about a gentleman by he goes by cobra never knew who started bitcoin talk um, i use bitcoin talk when i first got into bitcoin that was where you went there was no back then i don't even think coin market cap was up but you would go there um to see what the latest coin releases were it's almost like <laughs> like we do with icos nowadays it was really uh, it was that way with coins back then you know you would go to bitcoin talk and, and you know all the all the coins all the teams had a you know there was like this um just unspoken format on how you would uh, issue a new token or coin at that point there were no tokens a new coin to the marketplace and you know you had you know you had to spell out markets uh your coin supply you know air you know they would they didn't call them airdrops but they would have like uh, faucets you know coin faucets and all that and so forth but i don't use bitcoin talk anymore but I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's widely used within the community and the crypto community. Um, but I know for sure back then that was the place to go. You went nowhere else uh, to get your information about, um, you know, new coins and stuff. I mean, there were different IRC chat rooms and, and, and you know, dark web chat rooms and such. But Bitcoin talk was the spot. But anyway, I kind of digress. Bitcoin talk uh, owner or founder and owner of bitcoin.org has put out uh, an open letter pretty controversial open letter too so let's uh let's take a look at what what all went down here it says here this week the owner of the web portal bitcoin.org and bitcoin talk um a pseudonym called cobra wrote an open letter to the bitcoin community asking them to think about changing the Bitcoin Core Network's proof of work algorithm. Says here, Bitcoin.org owner Cobra says Bitcoin mining is controlled by one man and his company. Says the owner of the two well known Bitcoin websites has sparked controversy once again uh, as he's written an open letter to the community asking for a proof of work consensus change. Cobra says Bitcoin is slowly becoming less decentralized and blames mining centralization. In fact, Cobra points to one man and his company. And the individual is Jihan uh, Wu, the owner of the Chinese-based Bitmain Technologies. Cobra says the security of the Bitcoin Core Network depends solely on trusting that one company uh, will be honorable. And I have to... I have to agree with him on that one. 
Uh, Cobra goes on to say here, hash rate has already been abused. Further, Cobra says the community is always talking about new ent uh, entrants and in jumping into the global mining space, but he believes it is impossible for them to compete with Bitmain. Because Bitmain took in $4 billion in profit last year, I talked about that on my last live stream, Cobra thinks they are light years ahead. Cobra states in his plea to the community, that $4 billion in profit will be used to build even better hardware, allowing them to further dominate mining for the foreseeable future and likely buy stakes in their competitors. That's very true. Very true. Says here, he, he, I quote here, the hash rate has already been abused to give political support to reckless and dangerous hardware fork attempts. They have questionable uh, allegiance to Bitcoin at best, seeming more interested, interested in supporting Bitcoin Cash, undermining the very network they that employs them. Even more dangerously, they are based in China, a country with a long track of human rights abuse, censorship, and general evil behavior. Oh man, this is this is crazy. He's really going at at Bitcoin, and I'm I'm pretty sure they ain't changing nothing because they they can't Bitcoin Core can't seem to get uh, the scaling issue uh, off to off to the races. So I'm sure they're not going to change a uh, network algorithm. So, um, but I want to do f highlight here that J uh, Jihan Wu responds to Cobra. He says, Cobra is too busy playing political games while other blockchains are innovating. The anonymous website owner who has made other controversial statements in the past recently asked members of the community to rewrite certain sections of Satoshi Nakamoto's white paper. Wow. Cobra's latest comments declare that the mining problem is the root cause of all of blockchains or Bitcoin's problems, I should say. He says the community must get rid of them as they are no longer useful elements of the community. Bit, uh, Bitmain's Jihan Wu has responded to Cobra's very opinionated statements over Twitter following the POW change publication. He says here, that is cool. When you achieved it, Bitcoin's market share in the cryptocurrency economy will fall under 10%. Good luck. So basically what Jihan Wu is saying is that if you if you try to change the algorithm now and change the structure, the economic structure of Bitcoin, how things are playing out with the miners and the incentive is really with the miners currently. If you change that, uh, Jihan Wu is saying it's over, you know, forget 39 percent dominance. In the cryptocurrency market is going to it's going to continue to fall to under 10 percent in his opinion um I, I i think personally and i would love to get your feel your feedback on this i feel like bitcoin's dominance is going to drop regardless of if a algorithm change is implemented or not um i just think there's some fundamental issues there um, not saying that the price of Bitcoin won't continue to go up. I think that it will. But uh, Bitcoin's dominance and importance within the cryptocurrency and crypto uh, community in general is, is, is going to decline, in my opinion. So let's see what happens. I would love to get your feedback on this controversial statement put out by Cobra, the founder of Bitcoin Talk and Bitcoin.org. Um, I don't know. I don't think changing the the, the proof uh, from PW uh, POW is gonna it's gonna change anything. To be honest with you, let me know your thoughts, though, people. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click that bell. That will ensure you are alerted for every video. All right, that's it, pretty much. I holla at you. It's your boy Crypto Blood. I'm out. Holla.